Welcome everyone to Bonafab Custom. Today we're going to be making some canister de Damascus out of a timing chain. Let's get right into it. And now I have a bunch of this timing chain cut up. And this stuff is pretty good to use because, because of its inside an engine uh, submerged in oil, usually it's not coated at all. So all you gotta do is take it out. Um, I basically go to a scrap yard and I bring my cordless cutoff tool and I just chop off a bunch of a bunch of this timing chain that's inside the motor and then I'll clean it up put it inside some Varsol clean off all the grease and then I'll uh, keep it into acetone just to make sure it's totally clean and then it's ready to cut and put inside my canister and another reason I use it too is because it uh, has some really small links and it looks a lot better um, when you forge weld it all together so now I can put this in my canister. And another thing too is I, I think I'm going to make a couple of different canisters. So I use a 1080 steel powder that has 4% nickel in it to fill the gaps. And what I want to experiment a little bit with is I have a copper powder and one of the canisters that I'm going to make, I'm going to put some copper powder in it and see if we can see it after forge welding.
I'm not sure what which one this is, but this one I had a little bit more problems. Um, probably wasn't up to temperature when I first started uh, forging it, and what happened was it uh, broke out of the sides. And hopefully I still have some of it that I can salvage, but um, until I machine the uh, that scale off, I'm, I really can't tell. You know if there's cold shuts or if it even forge welded together. So I'm gonna put it on my CNC and uh, and take the uh, scale off. Okay, so that's fresh, hot off the mill. See, I took off the uh, scale everywhere. And you can see a little bit of a pattern, but um, I, I can't really make out. I can't really make it out like, perfectly. So I'm gonna take this, put it on the, um, put it on my grinder. Well, my belt grinder, my belt sander, and I'm gonna Give this a little bit better of a finish probably like a 220 and then i'm gonna put it into the acid and see if uh i see a pattern okay so here's both pieces they look pretty nice take a little bit of a closer view you could see this one here has the uh, copper in it and this is the one that I had some problem with problems um, forge welding now the center of it looks pretty good there's no cracks in it or uh, cold shuts and the pattern looks super nice because I'm guessing I didn't squeeze it enough this way so it didn't close off where that timing chain was so you see a lot of a lot more of the lines in between they look really nice I can probably still make something out of this the other piece that didn't have the copper in it so this one I'm assuming has the copper because I, I do see a little bit of copper in it and this one didn't have the copper in it but this one forge welded a lot better and it looks pretty good now I'm just thinking I might machine it down a bit more because this one here is actually machined down probably around 80 thou less than this one. So I'm, I'm thinking that if I machine it down a bit more, I'll see more of the pattern. These um, light gray parts, they could still be the mild steel that uh, forge welded that I kept on on both sides. So I'm just gonna, probably machine it down when I figure out what I'm going to do with them but uh, overall the timing chain seems to come out really nice especially this one here if I can get that nice consistent pattern of all those lines it looks super super nice and uh, yeah so timing chain does work and I think that that one it, the uh, timing chain from from a car because it it's a lot smaller uh, works really well and it's uncoated already just needed some cleaning with uh, taking the oil off but it seems like it forge welded really nicely and it again it's uh, inexpensive because you can just go to your local scrapyard and just cut them off with a with the um, a cutoff wheel with a portable grinder that's I mean that's basically what I did so um, yeah it's overall really nice now it's time to figure out what I want to make with it. Maybe this big one here, um, I'm thinking maybe something like a machete I can, uh, would look really nice with this pattern. But uh, let me know what you think in the comments. So the timing chain canister Damascus turned out really nice. The little experiment I did with uh, putting some copper 
and eh, not too bad. I can't really see the copper that much. So not sure if I would use that again, that copper powder. But uh, the other one, the one without the copper, looks, looks pretty nice. And I'm thinking I'm going to probably be making a machete out of it. But uh, if you have any ideas of maybe something better I could make out of it, let me know in the comments below. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and push that button for notifications for more uh, fabrication videos. See you next week.